Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Rogue Legacy 2. We're technically the Dragon Lancer. We're the, uh, what is it? The Contrarian? Contrarian. So we've got ourselves the, uh, the Valkyrie weapon, the Duelist Dodge Roll, but the Dragon Lancer's HP. I'm, I'm into this character. Seems like a great start to me. Uh, what are we doing today? We've, we beat the first two zones, which weirdly enough i'd say are going to be the tougher ones i would like to go and get the t I, I think i'd like to get the teleporter today i think that would be good obviously we're very far behind as far as like uh gold goes you know we're we're still we're we're level 180 and the enemies in this first is oh maybe does this give us more mana or does it give us spell damage Okay, I think it's spell damage. So we need to find uh, we need to find zone two and then get to zone three. Whoa, boy, that was spooky. So we got some work to do. We got some work cut out for us. Mana pool up by fifty percent and deal. I don't know if I care. The circlet's not bad. I feel like we can do better. Sure. Sure. Every once in a while, or every... Oh, boy. Every few seconds, we get ourselves a little charge up. Every five seconds, I think it is, it said. Of 75% damage. I'll take it. Oh, my God. Get out of here. Chick on. Nothing. Okay. But, yeah, we want to get to zone two. We will want to get, like, you know, an amount of money to unlock the pathway. That is something as well. So we want to pick up some money on the way there. The longer we go, is this doable? I mean, it is doable, but there's doable and then there's logical. I would rather save my health for zone three, where we're going to get a much higher um, money payout. You know, you know, you know. God, I wish I had 125 H or 150 mana. Chance of avoiding a fatal attack. I feel like we can do better. Like. Oh my god. Uh, scarier than it. Or uh, easier than it looks. It looks scarier than it is. Oh my. I've not even used my tuck and roll once. Wait, what's that? Which zone is that? That's to the. Um, I was about to my triangle that is to the uh act four right yeah i guess i could explore here instead i i guess it's kind of weird but i i suppose i could but it would jank up my already janked up um <laughs> level system you know, I'm already behind. That would be put me weirdly behind. Though I believe there is a an Erebus scar that I am presumably aware of. Oh, you don't crit on the dodge if you don't have the duelist ability. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh my god. I thought that that I thought that was part of the ability. Apparently not. A couple chests over there. What's that look like? Scary. Hello. Uh, okay. okay. I thought that could actually only hit walls, but I think I'm oh, thinking of the electric AOE thing. I don't know what else to call it. Boink. I'm liking the class. I don't know. Like, it, it's just Valkyrie, but we're also chunky. Valkyrie with a with a little extra, with more to love. Ooh. But also without the fun spinny maneuver. That, you know, that's a big thing. Oh my god, 
cannot find this zone for the life of me. We need like 8k or something to... I literally went out of my way for that. We need like 8k or something. Maybe even 10k. We have so much armor too. There's just a lot... A lot that's going to keep us alive. I know about that secret wall right there. That's just to get to the other side of the room. It's nothing special. Unless I wanted to get those chests, then it'd be very special and, in fact, required. But, yeah, the um, Dragon Lancer gets 20% extra armor. Okay. Okay, There, there's the door. Good. Good start. I don't need this gold thing. I've already done it. All right. So we need to get to, like, the Pizza Mundi room, which is, like, I don't know, like, halfway through? Halfway through the zone, unlock the portal, go up. So we'll need a little bit more money. I don't know, though. This, here's what's super annoying. The second I unlock it, I'm going to beat it. Beat it. And I'm going to be like, great, why did, I, why did I unlock this one? To be fair, like, yeah, maybe it, maybe it doesn't make sense. Watch, see, this is why I never unlock the portals. Is because I talked myself out of it by the time I were, like, I would get there. This is why I don't do them. Because now I'm like, man, wouldn't that suck if I, like, I actually finally spent 10k and I didn't even need the portal? I'd scream. That'd be so, so depressing. I don't feel like I need another, um... One of those, we have plenty of materials as of yet, still. Oh, awkward. Oh, yeah! Do we crit on dash with this, or is that specifically... Oh, boy. Okay. That's part of it. I don't know if that was part of the weapon or part of the class, you know? Now I'm just not so sure no more. Pogo stick. All right. But yeah, as far as Erebus scars go to, we need to find some. I'm pretty confident there's one in that room full of books. That's going to be in the next zone, though, not this one. Oh! Hup, hup. Man! Valkyrie does not, like, I, I know that I'm not technically Valkyrie, but Valkyrie does not do as much damage as, oh, you would think. It's because it's such a versatile class from uh, utility that it can't possibly be also doing incredible damage. Oh, okay, let's use our eye frames to just get the hell out of there. Seeing how much damage I'm taking has me pretty confident we should unlock the portal, though, right? Unless... If this... If this is the stinking apple room, then maybe not. Nice. All skill. All skill. A hit. Nope. Boink, boink. Hello. Those projectiles don't come out until he hits the ground. <laughs> what the? I wanted the money. Come, just get, get over here, money. I'm like, bend it over backwards just to get that money. All right. Do this stinker. This is the sun tower. The portal's to the east. Oh my god. Okay. Yes, now we are definitely unlocking it because I do not want to backtrack the whole kit and the whole caboodle. Though, you know what? Maybe, maybe we unlock this portal. 
because then we only have to backtrack half of Axis Mundi, and then we also don't have to get this portal later. I mean, this is this is coming up not too far. Yeah. All right. That that there we go. I found the middle ground. We're gonna unlock this one portal. Unlock that one portal. Because I feel like it's a good middle ground of uh, of distance across the board. Oh, eat it. <laughs> oh, that, that was the last place we touched the ground? That is nuts. Okay. You die, blobfish. On guard, blobby. Nope. All right, we're making some some change back. Oh my god, I didn't like I. Uh, you better die fast! Oh my god, the vines, the vines really put me in between a rock and a hard place. There, I'm really happy we got that uh, that portal. We got here, garbage. Pizza? Pizza. Ooh, since the blobfish really does only do the projectiles when it splashes down, it's really unbelievably satisfying. Oh. That was cute. That was cute. Oh, come on! Woo! That... There's some awkward things going on, but hey. Considering how little health we're getting, I'm pretty satisfied. Don't get off until we're ready. Whoop! Uh, what? More of those quote unquote elites, please. Okay. Apple. Apple. Let's go. About the potion. All right. We could get the portal. But the thing is, yeah, we can't think about it like, oh, the next trip to this zone is going to take this long. It'll be it'll take as long as it took to get to Pizza Mundi. Okay. Alright, we're done. Well, more or less. Ooh, this is here now. Slowly lift into position by massive cranes and pulleys. The Armada's flagship vessel, the preserver of life, floats precariously above a massive black pit. Atop the quarter deck, Estuary Mehujal looks proudly upon his crew as they prepare the ship for its descent into Stygian waters. Miguel? <laughs> uh, above the mass, white stone chains groan as they slowly begin to lower the ship. The noise is deafening, and the reverberations threaten to tear the ship in half, but... <laughs> Michael's crew remains stoic. He promised the ship would hold, and his words are, are their trust. In the dark, the once pristine decks of the Preserver of Life are awash in the black and blood of the monstrous void beast. Their numbers seem endless, as more and more of them emerge from the Stygian waters, visible only through the flash of cannon fire. A giant tentacle of the Stygian Kraken crashes down on the wooden deck, sending... <laughs> I want to know. 
sending him and his crewmen flying through the air. For a moment, he is weightless, then he feels the icy sting of the Stygian waters. Deadly to the touch, the Stygian waters threaten to drag him further under as every drop pulls on his soul. In the distance, first mate Bjoreth barks orders at his men, and ropes are hurled into the waters in an effort to save those flung overboard. Struggling against the waves and flotsam, he grasps <laughs> one of the ropes, then looks back at his flailing men. He knows the ropes won't help. The sailors are too far out, and too weak for the touch of the Stygian waters to save themselves. One after another, the silhouettes of his men sink under the waves. With one last prayer spoken before his breath, he releases the rope and dives into the brackish waters to save those who he can. Sun from the tower shines brightly upon the shipyard in the Kerguelen Plateau as the Preserver of Life slowly is dismantled. It has been many years since a void beast has emerged from the waters, and the materials from within these ships are better used elsewhere. Under Namaz's guidance, the ship hull and nails will build new homes as it sails new clothing. In the offices above, Estuary M accepts the offer to take ownership of the Nibiru Deep Mines, though hardly, hardly a glamorous position. It was the only way to keep his crew together. After his propo proposal is approved, he offers his crew the choice to stay above and continue their lives in the sun, but none of them will abandon their captain. Okay. All right. As the centuries pass, the Nibiru Deep Mines transform their into their own bustling world, separate from the other estuaries, a new underground culture flourishes, a society built upon equality and respect. Oh my god, there's another shouting at the commotion fill of the tunnel as a small stream of stygian water trickles down in the passageways. M barely has time to think before the trickle becomes a torrent. He quickly guides his people towards the Atlantis Spire, a massive ventilation shaft. Travels to the top of the mine. The other exits are flooded. There's no other way to escape. The vent is narrow and the dark as the night, and dark as the night, but his people have no recourse but to scale his walls. Those that lose their strength fall to the rising waters. Mehu Jal carries as many exhausted men as he can on his back, but not everyone can be saved. After climbing for an eternity, he finally breaches, oh my god, the surface. Half a dozen people cling to his bag, and he barely manages to pull himself up before giving it to exhaustion. Storm rages on the surface, obscuring his vision. The wind breaks just long enough to see that Nibiru Deep is no more. The water has risen to such a level that the land is surrounding the mine is now completely flooded. Only the very tip of the land's vent is still visible with little strength and raining with no concern for what's to come. And produces a knife. Take my from me a piece of my flesh. Become my child to survive this night. Holy crap, the memories split and the largely incoherent of a thousand different images and emotions. It's all your mind. You see the people swimming across the staging waters towards the glowing light of the sun tower. You see the relief in their eyes for having made the journey, but feel another kind of fear. Becoming the estuary of an estuary is a sacrilege. There will be repercussions. An unspoken pact of silence is the common thread uniting a hundred different voices spread across a hundred different lives. Memories are jumbled and their hosts are water aimlessly, but eventually they all coalesce upon Axis Mundi. The children of M are together once more, hiding in the shadowed recesses of the buildings populating the bridge. Under each silence broken by the sound of a single horn. The old crone emanates from the citadel of Agatha. With a single nod, the children of M gather their weapons. They emerge from the shadows and they begin their assault on the citadel. Thank God. 5% damage versus the immortal king. Great. Great. Let me guess. 9k? Eat my shorts. All right. We did not get the... Um... Ooh, we do not have the... The triangle here, but uh, we did not get the plants. We, we do need to get them in there. Is this worth? Nope. Just kidding. Thank you. I do not miss the wolves. Oh my god. I attack downwards. Dumb dumb man. Alright. Boink. Boink. Alright, fine. No! Fair just lose no health. Not right now. Vampire? By vampire, I mean uh, zombie? What? What is this thing? It, oh my god, did you see that? Little floating boy? He was going wild. Oh my god. I know there's the thing to the right there. Can bank though. Let's 
Shooting on up. There we are. Zombie. Zombie. <laughs> oh, don't you do that to me. What? Oh my God. Awkward. Awkward as all get out. Okay. I don't really know how to traverse this zone as far as like what the optimal way is to find something. Whoa. To find like the exit or the flowers. Somebody's alive! I couldn't tell. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Chicken, chicken? Nope, no chicken. Oh! Rigged? Alright, well, I'm gonna die. If I don't get, like, literally any reward or any HP, I'm gonna die. Again, it'd be very cool if I could just open the door. Got me out a lot. Ooh, that, that's nice. That's nice. Very, very kind of you, game. I don't know in which direction the boss often hangs. There's generally a reliable direction, you can assume. Ooh, we have the second one, but can we make it to the place? I don't know. I think it can be in almost any direction. I think it's one of the few that it's not that limited. In fact, maybe maybe it's generally to the right. I got again. I've done it. I don't know. Again, yeah, just take me. Ugh. Take me to the big room. I don't want to. I mean, I would. I would try to fight the boss. I've done it. Okay, we get the huge heal. So at this point, I guess maybe. It, Maybe it just makes sense to fight him. But, like, there's... Well, something, something right here. Oh, okay. Scoot. Scoot. I mean, that's a lot of healing. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm not gonna probably get very far just going standard. Oops. That was a mistake. That damage. <laughs> Oh boy. We like almost perfect at this last time and then this time we're just like what's uh what's the dodge button? Oof, this damage that we're doing is not great. I know we can get the dash crits. I just don't know that it's going to be logical right now. Hey, hey, hey! Does that work? It does. Uh. Spicy part soon. Get the mana, get the mana. Oh my, oh my god, the damage! 
I didn't know if that would actually even work or not. Oh boy. Okay, scoot scoot. Scoot toot. I almost just blocked into it. Very nice attack for you to do right then. Okay. Oh my god. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Ha! Doing just fine. Oh no. I love that that breaks all of those. Okay, just a little bit, little, a little bit of patience. Why not? This is awkward. Probably get a kill. There we go. Not bad. die on the spikes after that pretty happy we did not lock the stupid uh whatchamacallit now the portal now right right would have been a waste huh would it not would it not all right oh boy time to die in the study i suppose Depending on what kind of, uh, what kind of heals we get, we might be fine. But I feel like this is not a portal that's as necessary. Is that knockback? I do good. Good, good, good. Bad portal? Nope. No bad painting. Come on, mean. Come on, come on, come on. Let me in. Thank you very much. Just a, just a little chicken. Just an itty bitty chicken, please. We have the mini bosses we've technically got to get he here. Oh, that's not good. Oh my god. <laughs> There's the one we could, like, we could try. Fine. This is, the, this is the big old wall of bullets one. I might as well give it a shot. Check on. In fact, we have the, like, the easy peasy little roll thing. Hits there? Oh, screw you. My god. 
dumb hits. Dumb hits. We're going to maybe die, actually, on it. Like, just by walking too close, because I don't treat you like a real boss. Stop. Oh, my God. Dumb. Just take it easy. Like, even that was unnecessarily risky. We got too close. Got Woo! We did it! Yay! Who's the other boy beast? I wouldn't have done it. Like, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have gotten it. Okay, one done. If we can get both these open on this same run, that would blow my mind. It would blow my mind. Because that other mini boss is actually kind of tricky. I don't even need to bother hitting them, right? Like, why, why even? There's an elite mimic! There's an elite mimic! There's an elite mimic. Okay. Elusive. Wanda blasting. I, I don't know on that one. Dragon Lancer with the axe and ivory canopy. It's a little weird, but I'll give it a shot. What is this? All right. Gold. What else? How about some damage? Damage health. Gold damage health. Sure. I feel like I want to lock something else. Man, I'm not I'm not big on the barbarian. We don't even I think we have less health. I should lock something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what do I want to lock, though? I don't know what I really want to lock. Yeah, let's lock the assassin. We'll give that a shot. I, I kind of want to mostly play contrarian anyways. It's sort of my jam. Like, we'll try and find some interesting... Combos, wombos. Alright, so now we're looking for the portal up. Oh, hello. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. This class is... That's right. It's, uh... It's a slow one, Mr. Grinch. I mean, the damage is great. Don't get me wrong. Damage is great. Come here! Okay. Canopy, though. Whoa! Uh... This is... Yeah, I can definitely see why this is such a great, like, new player class. I mean, I think it's probably really good against bosses, too, just because the damage is... Wow. Do 
can't believe there. I can't believe there is an elite mimic like that. I don't really want to do that one. And yet I entirely can. There's a there's a mimic boss. So like a dumb. Okay. Okay. Pointy. Maybe canopy can uh, can work pretty well. In fact, in fact. Also, what the hell's going on here? I guess we're gonna have to go like right. What? No. What? I'm so confused. Down, right, up. Real? I'm starting to think that maybe, uh, maybe Canopy's actually the greatest of all time for this. I was like, this seems like a weird combo, but now, I don't know, man. We get the crits on... Crits on the ground only. It's gotta be, like, up, right... Nope. I just want to go fast. I mean, if I'm going to take this much damage going to find that place, then I guess I guess I'm going to have to get the teleporter, but God. I think it's just a um a case of this is, like, not a weapon that I am familiar with at all. Can't remember the last time we've done one of these. What is this? Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Easily be up there. Whoop. Smack. Okay, I thought that was going to be a demon painting. Oh, it's not up there. Could still be. Oh, well, I'm happy I came over here. Okay, okay. Wait. I, at this point, I really, like, so freaking... Oh, it's gonna be up there. I know it. Oh, oh yeah, cool, then. It's just, like... So against how I play it. It actually is. Uh, okay, well, you know, <laughs> let's just let's just leave. Actually, if I, I started like that, let's just uh, let's just say Sayonara on that one. Lol, lol. Yeah, there's. There, there's some, uh, there's obvious greatness to this character as well. Okay, well, we've got that already. Ah, uh, I needed the, uh, needed the spin to kill. Is there, there's some breakables down here, right? Yes, sir. Scoot, scoot. I don't know what the plan is there. Boop, boop, boop. Ah? Burn. 
<clears throat> Fine. My HP's pretty low. If they're, like, pretty close to dead but not dead, that will help me out a fair amount, you know? Which can happen... I, I don't know. It can happen decently often with the... Okay. All right. Whoop, whoop, see, like right there. I didn't I didn't have to do another attack. When I otherwise would have. Uh, sir. I don't predict this fight going well. Yeah, I was hoping that we would hit above our heads there. Boy, it's just not, it's not my class for bosses. Like, can it work? Sure. If you just have high stats and you like brute force, I feel like that's going to be great. Hero complex assassin is kind of weird. Speaking of kind of weird. Eh, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I need uh, I need to beat the little mini boss. And this is technically a ranger, meaning I think it should reset, right? Ooh. I think it should reset us back to just being like a standard ranger. Correct. I have not done this as ranger. I mean, I wouldn't have thought I would, because I would never pick it on purpose. I do like the dash poison. Take the boin. Okay. Now I will take the dash poison. I think it's really solid. I think dash poison is... Is weirdly solid. I mean, what is happening here? All of this, I mean, these are good. These are great items. Like, these are incredible items, but also. Okay. Oh boy. Ah, let me spin kick off of him. Uh, that was awkward. Let me up. like this. You're my way. Let me kill them. Let me back. Okay. Huh. Oh, this is not optimal. Walk into it. Oh my god. Alright. Could have been a lot worse. I mean, the. Ex oh, excuse me. Could have been a lot worse. B. I'll, I'll take it. What, what are we at now? 
We're still at silver, huh? Still at silver. I wish we could re-roll our character without, you know. Also, how do you, is there a place to see which classes we've done it with? No. But silver reward gives us 400 souls. You get a lot. All right. But, anywho, alas, alas, that is that. That is going to do it here for today. Like I said, we're going to have to have episodes be a little bit shorter as I'm prepping for a vacation here. Uh, so that is why that is going on. But alas, thank you for watching. This has been Rogue Legacy 2. We'll be back up again tomorrow with another almost certainly here. Thank you, thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.